I'm Kevin Mamajek, and you're watching Niagara Pro Tips. So with missing data strategies, um, Niagara Analytics gives you a couple options. So I'm going to show you um, 4.8 and 4.9. Uh, 4.9, which will be out shortly, uh, gives us a, a couple cool new features to be able to do that. So um, previous video, I kind of handled how to create test data. So I'll build on that. Um, but I'll show you how to create a missing data strategy. I'm going to create a definition in the analytic um, service for one of my tags, which is this missing data tag. I'm doing that so that I can get very specific to how I want that data, uh, that data set to be uh, manipulated. So two things I showed in the services with 4.9 is there's now ability to uh, filter raw data and then there's a way of filtering um, changes, uh, delta value changes. So we're just going to look at the, the low data one. These outliers were unique to 4.8. So there was the status capabilities for 4.8. 4.9 added these two additional features. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, um, a definition and I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to leave this low limit to zero so we can see how it affects. And then we're going to um, leave the missing data strategy set to none at this point in time because I'm going to set those in the graphs. So you've got a couple places you can set this up. You can set it up here for global. You can set it up inside your definition so it uh, um, is applied to that specific tags data set. Or you can uh, apply it in a, a chart, in an analytic chart. So with that, let's jump to a graph that how I how I build this out. So I've gone ahead and created. If you look at the wire sheet, I've created um, essentially a consumption um, schedule using the New York history module. So it's creating the random data for me, except I took all randomness away from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have certain times of the day it's going to just the meter is going to read null like it the meter was acting up and it didn't report back um, i've added a couple zeros in there because sometimes meters just throw a zero so i've got a, a sample of there um, and down here i've got a larger um, null zone so that we can actually take a look at how the data gets smoothed out within the the missing data strategy so that kind of sets up my my data set to give me an example and then I just kind of created a PX page that I actually took um, from the analytics palette analytics chart so these are just analytic web charts uh, why you would want to use analytic web charts is they allow you to actually go after the tag so they're very specific to that and we can take a look at let's just do a sample um, of what this is right so all I'm doing in that analytic chart is I'm dropping on the page. I'm telling it to go after that tag, the missing data set tag. It's um, relative since the data is right next to it on the wire sheet. I'm giving it uh, last week 15 minutes, and then you'll see that uh, I'm not going to do any roll-ups or anything like that, or the missing data strategy is set to none. So that's where I'll actually set how I want uh, each graph to handle um, the missing data kind of uh, an override. That way it gives me the ability to visualize all three of these settings. So with that, then we'll kind of look at uh, um, at the data. So this graph is no missing data strategy. So you'll see the, the drops to zero. You'll also see in that uh, one area where I, I essentially made a, a, a lot longer over an hour where it was reading nothing null you'll see I have no data points from there it's just kind of connecting the dots but there is missing data every 15 minutes in that um, part of the curve right so if I apply the nearest neighbor the nearest neighbor is still going to give me my zeros right because it's in the data set but if I go over here to where I was missing that data it automatically filled in the missing or the nearest neighbor so you'll see how I can come up I level out but it's it's created data for every 15 minutes that was missing and the nearest neighbor just grabs its nearest neighbor 
Now the linear interpolation, it actually goes and creates that curve. So it's a much more gradual um, data set. Again, these are the missing points, but we've got two different options for you, nearest neighbor, or you can do the linear uh, in interpolation. So that's pretty much how I did the missing data strategy. You can go in and, you know, with these widgets, you can go in and set um, the overrides directly in the chart once it's there. So a, a, an end user could actually go and apply that automatically, or you can, like I said, do it from uh, default. But it gives you that capability of uh, at least visualizing how these missing data strategies work. Now, going back to this uh, data set, this missing or uh, this data definition and this raw data filter, I'm going to go and say, I don't want the anything that goes below one, right? Because I want to knock out those zeros. I don't want in my my data set. So if you go back and I put that. Uh, clause on or I turn that on now you'll see all the zeros drop out of my data set so now I can see the missing data strategy creating points there I don't get any of those erroneous zeros same thing with the linear so it gives you yet another option of actually trying to clean up the data without requiring you going in and edit the history itself oh yeah I, I almost forgot <laughs> When you use the missing data strategy, it's the analytic engine that is applying that strategy. It does not go back and edit the history at all. So your history stays intact when that tag is read into the analytic engine. If there's a strategy that's been applied to that tag, it's then enforced. So it doesn't drop or remove data or create data and put it back in the history. It's only the analytic engine that sees these uh, strategies and these changes.